In this next series of lessons, we're going to be taking a look at the sales order um, sales process fulfillment um, within X3. So to start this um, lessons, we're initially going to be taking a look at the sales quote um, capabilities within the system. The sales quotes can be a popular tool used for um, salesmen within your organization or your customer service team to provide your clients with uh, estimates uh, for uh, product pricing or service pricing as well as lead time information and availabilities. So to start we're going to come under our sales menu here then go to quotes then quotes. We'll choose our full entry transaction. So we'll start by clicking on the new button and we'll specify the site that we want to register the quote at. This reference number you can populate that um, if your customer has like an RFQ number. We'll specify our customer that we're registering the quote for. The delivery address. If your organization does project tracking you can associate the quote with a project. We can define the site from which we are ultimately going to want to ship the product. Here's the delivery lead time from the warehouse to your customer's facility. If you record your INCO terms uh, on the quotes, that can be accomplished within here. Uh, taxing information currency is all captured. The sales reps, rep or reps that are responsible for the client can be registered here. If you wanted to find the validity date um, through which the quote is good, that can be set. Your probability rate um, is kind of a qualitative field where you can register your chances of obtaining the deal uh, to provide your um, salesman a, some indicators as to which uh, quotes are better to pursue. There's signature management controls that can be instituted on your quote. Then uh, we also have a status field down here which will indicate to us as to whether or not the uh, quote has been converted to an order. Here on the, invo or on the invoicing tab we have payment terms that uh, can be registered as well as settlement discounts if uh, you're going to entitle the customer uh, to a discount if they pay uh, on their invoice within a certain truncated time frame. Uh, if this quote has been converted to an order, your order number and the date of the order will be detailed. Uh, if you do any pro forma invoicing from the quote, the pro forma will be registered here. We have a section down here for analytical dimensions. So if you want to register a certain, uh, maybe certain mar a market or a project dimension, uh, these uh, dimensions can flow through to the uh, sales and cost of sales activity that are ultimately generated um, from the sale. In your invoicing uh, elements section here, uh, this provides you with the capability of registering certain below the line charges, whether those be additional discounts, freight charges, um, expedite fees, uh, packaging fees, insurance, and so forth. Then finally here on the lines tab this is where we can come to to specify the products that we're quoting the customer. So we can go ahead and click on the magnifying glass and choose uh, from our selection list. We can define the number of units that we want to quote the customer. If you have a price book established uh, for this product uh, that price will automatically flow into the quote. These discount and expense fields are certain adders and deductors that calculate against the gross price to derive for you a uh, net price. There's your per unit cost and per unit profit margin. Your product taxing information is captured here on the line. Your sales rep and their commission rates will also be defined herein. Okay. All this information in place, we can go ahead and click on the Create button. The next three will go ahead and assign a quote number for us.
quotes created, if we want to go ahead and print out a copy of the quote to send to our uh, client, we can come over and click on the print icon, then come down to record. There's a variety of different uh, out-of-the-box quote forms from which we can choose. I'm going to choose this top uh, Devi client customer quote. Once the report parameters pop up, I'm going to come over here and click on the print button. And we'll go ahead and open that up in our PDF. Okay, so here is the layout of your standard quote. You have your quote number, uh, your date information, customer, RFQ number, and there's the product information and pricing. Okay. So that is the basics uh, behind generating a new quote. A um, couple other things to show you uh, in terms of some of the reporting that's associated with our quotes. If we come down under our printouts menu, we can come under our prints by group, then the sales, then down here to lists. So under the list menu here, uh, there's a variety of different um, reports that one can run associated with the quotes. Uh, the sales quote list and the details sales quote list are two of the more uh, popular ones. Let's go ahead and run the detail one which will contain our product information. So in here we'll come and in our we'll go ahead and specify the company that we want to run the report for. You can indicate here on the parameter on line 4 that we're interested in seeing all quotes up until uh, a certain cutoff date. Then we can also include a validity date range in here. We can come over then and do our print. And when we print the report, a uh, PDF will generate showing us all our detail quotes. So you have the quote number, uh, you know, the site, there's your product information, the goods have been ordered or not, uh, quantity, gross price, and the extended price. And you give you it will also give you a generated total at the bottom. Okay, so a helpful report uh, just for analytical purposes and helping your sales and customer service team uh, to know what sales are still out or quotes that are still outstanding that they can pursue. Um, in addition to this, in terms of some of the other analytical tools, uh, back at our main menu, if we come back under Sales once again, then we're going to come down under Inquiries. And under Inquiries, we have a subdirectory for quotes. So we have the common you know, header list and the detail line list. Um, for this exercise, let's go ahead and run this inquiry here, this Quotes by Period. And in here you could specify it for, for a particular company, particular selling site, you know, uh, for a given customer. You have additional filters down here that you can filter on quotes that have been ordered, haven't been ordered, you know, that are still within the validity date range. If you use the signature controls, that can be filtered upon here too. And I can come down here, specify in my period setting how I want the respective breakout to be performed, whether it be on a daily, weekly, monthly, um, you know, and so forth basis. And here I can specify what my cutoff is. Okay, that'll backfill my start date. I'll come over and click on the OK button. And this will generate a graph for me showing you the based upon my key you know expired quotes the orange represents you know the not ordered the green represents the ordered okay uh, over here on my action button if I want to see it in a tabular format here I can go ahead and choose I can show graph then flip it to show the list that will give me my data in a list form accordingly. Okay. 
in addition here to under the action button we have some uh, personalization options here so if I want to change my layout here so maybe instead of a bar graph I want to do you know a pie chart here you know we have those t capabilities within here too to kind of get some uh, items generated out on that basis maybe for for purposes of this one the line graph would make a little better sense in here okay so it gives you a couple different options there and more thing to show you under our action button here uh, we have an Excel export that we can use at my pop-up menu here I'm going to click on export here that generates my Excel icon for me open with my Microsoft Excel and this in part should give me a nice little import in a list form by period okay so that is the sales quote process as well as some reports and inquiries uh, that customer service and sales can run to support it um, in our next lesson here we're going to be talking about the conversion of a sales quote uh, into a sales order and just some of the basics uh, between sales order entry.